Hello you, and welcome to Landon's Lounge, where we have Let's Plays, tutorials, and tech reviews. Today, we'll be going over the must-have accessories for your Nintendo Switch. If you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing, show me some love, and if you're interested in any of the tech that you see here, visit the description below. Let's get started. Item 1 on the list, Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Breath of the Wild. Buy the game, play the game, and you will not be disappointed. If you would like to see me play the game, visit the link above. And that's all I have to say about that. Item two on the list, gameplay accessories. The Nintendo Switch Pro Controller is everything you need and everything you have wanted. The buttons are big. Fits in our normal sized hands. This is what you need for your Nintendo Switch if you want to compete on the top level. So when Splatoon 2 comes out, I'll be just fine. Amiibo, another fun addition to all of our main characters for our Nintendo franchises. In the case of Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild, this Amiibo, the Guardian, will grant you special items once a day. Other amiibos give you armor. But the point here is that this is not just an adult action figure. You can actually do things with these with your games. Item three on the list, brain capacity. brain capacity. A sensitive topic when it comes to the Nintendo Switch. As we all know, the Nintendo Switch only comes with 32 gigabytes of internal memory. I wasn't mad about it at first. You know, I like my physical game. I like my game data to be stored in the exact same place my save data is. So I only have to worry about damaging or losing one thing. Now, I have to worry about damaging or losing two things. What I've come to realize in the early life of the Nintendo Switch is that a bunch of third party and indie games are available only on the eShop. So I bought this Sandus Extreme Plus. So this is the A1 class and not the 10 class. I think A1 class is a new class of card designed specifically for app performance. And I wanted to buy it to see if it translates to portable gaming. Okay. That aside, you need a high class card if you want fast loading, fast downloading times. But I did notice on this A1 compared to the class 10 cards that are read and write speeds were on par if not better. So I have a read speed of 100 megabytes per second and a write speed of up to 90 megabytes per second with this SanDisk Extreme Plus. As you can see I have not used it yet because I would like you to tell me what game you want me to download 
from the eShop to play for you. Must have. <laughs> Item four on the list, power. Power. Another sensitive topic when it comes to the Nintendo Switch. So as you know, if you play any high performance game on your Switch, you will only get two and a half to three hours of gameplay. Is that enough? I don't think so. So what did I do? I visited my friends at Anchor and I bought a few things from them. They really make me feel like I get the most bang for my buck. The first item I purchased from them was this power bank. This is the PowerCore Plus 20,100 milliamps per hour bank. So a key feature on this bank is that it has a USB type C output. So this USB type C output is going to allow me to charge my switch while playing and still increase my battery capacity. I'm going to play, I'm going to play and still increase my battery. This thing has allowed me to play the Nintendo Switch on the move for up to eight hours. Now that is enough. Also, what I picked up from Anchor was this wall adapter. So this wall adapter is the PowerPort Plus 3. This does not have USB Type-C capability, but it does have our quick charge. I don't have any devices that can use a quick charge at the moment, but one day I will, and I'll be charging faster than everybody. But what it does have is two USB 2.0s that have this special IQ uh, technology. This also has the IQ technology on its 2.0 USB ports. But what that allows these um, power sources to do is to detect the device that it's charging. After detecting what device it's charging, this allows the power sources to charge at full capacity, at its fullest efficiency, without any damage to the battery. So instead of buying another AC adapter from Nintendo for the Nintendo Switch, that is just one piece, right? You got the wire and the big block and that's just it. No, instead, I bought this because I can use this with everything. And I bought this. This here is the Powerline Plus. Powerline Plus. This is a USB Type 3 to a USB 3.0 USB type C to a USB 3.0 the quality of this line is it's just it makes me speechless I'm look I mean look how thick this is this is there's material wrapped around this entire thing. It's six foot. That's why I bought this thing. It's six foot. You know, I could have my battery source, this bank right here, in my backpack sitting on the floor while I'm on the bus, and I can have my switch in my hands, and there I would have no limitations on movement, I'm good to go. I'm set. I'm charging while I'm playing. Must have. Item five on the list. 
protection. Protection. The Nintendo Switch comes with a plastic screen. This makes it susceptible to scratching, not to cracking if dropped. So, if you would like to take your Nintendo Switch wherever you can go, you need to purchase a tempered glass screen protector. I purchased mine off Amazon. It was on sale and the highest ranked at the time. Came from a company called AM Films. This specific protector actually comes with two in the box. I got a perfect application on my first one. So now I have one for a very sad rainy day. Pro tip on applying any type of glass protector on any type of device. Take your device, your protector, into the bathroom. Close the door, turn the shower on hot. Let all of the water evaporate. This will prevent any type of floating debris from landing on your device in the middle of your application. Pro tip. Also, if you would like to protect your screen, as well as your switch in general, you are going to need a case. So, I believe this is a Nintendo licensed product. This is a hardback case, Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild edition. This case is from, what company? Uh, let's see, licensed by Nintendo, RDS Industries Inc. RDS Industries Inc. has a bunch of these cases. I believe there's a plain case, there's a Mario edition, and a Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild, which I picked up. What I love about this case is that it's slim, right? It's, it's made for the Switch only. I don't need an entire backpack dedicated to my Switch. I have a man purse. I put my switch in here and the accessories that I want for that day and I throw it in my man purse. A couple more things on this case. Man, that sound. So a couple more things on this case is that inside here, we have some cartridges. These cartridges, we have two cartridges. These hold up to four games. As you can see now, I'm using one of them to hold some of my SD card adapters, but in one slot, it gives you an SD card holder. So this cartridge is actually holding two SD cards at the moment. Pretty freaking sweet. I don't have eight games and I don't have four SD cards at the moment, but if the Nintendo Switch lives up to the potential, I very well may someday. So, Here's the inside of the case. I can take my switch, place her in here. This pouch gives an extra layer of protection. Nice Velcro. Can't get over that sound. Right here, we're in uh, enclosed, shut it. Two, three knocks for good luck. Nice handle. You're ready to go. Throw it in the man purse. Must have. Item six on the list. Audio. Audio. One of the most important aspects of any entertainment system. So to you, I suggest buying an 
over-the-ear Bluetooth set of headphones. Over-the-ear will allow you to cancel out as much outside noise as possible to really engross yourself into the gaming experience. Bluetooth that coincides with the freedom and the portability of the Nintendo Switch itself. But I hear you. And yes, you're right. The Nintendo Switch is not capable of working with any Bluetooth set of headphones. Why that is, I don't know. But to get to my most important accessory of the day, the Taltronics Doohickey. This TTBA08 Bluetooth receiver and transmitter allows me to take audio from my Nintendo Switch and transmit it to my Bluetooth headphones. My prayers have been answered. So now at 2 a.m. in the morning, my wife will not come screaming at the top of her lungs and ask me why she can hear Link making little boy noises. Or, in your case, you just don't like wires and you just want to be able to do whatever you want with your system in your hand and playing at the same time. It just works. It works. You plug this into this and this goes to that and you can listen here and you can be happy. Everyone can be happy. This solves all of our problems. Thank you, Tautronics. Thank you. Must. Have. Thank you for watching my must-have accessory guide on the Nintendo Switch. If I helped you decide which accessories you want, show me some love. If you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing. And don't forget to leave me a comment below telling me which game you want to see me download and play for you. And until next time, happy hunting.